Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Pisces. Hey Pisces! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. Guys, ask a question. I have this like really basic deck. It is crystal ball, pocket oracle. All right, we'll see. It's literally like eight cards in here, so literally. Ask a question. I'm going to give you a second. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. All right. Let's see what comes out. Trust me, don't expect anything great here, but it's a start, right? All right, let's see. Get more information. You guys are inquiring about something. Some of you guys are trying to get more information about a matter. For some of you guys, I feel like you could be reading books. I feel like you guys could be finding out new things, something about healing. In some cases, some of you guys could be planting. Some of you guys could be interested in herbs. Some of you guys could be reading about the earth, how it evolves, what it consists of, something like that. Get more information. I feel like you guys are interested in something and you are trying to get some more. Give me more, please. And this is... This is a sign, okay? Get, get more information. This is a sign. I feel like for some of you guys, you have been uh, given a sign to look into something. This is a sign for you to look into something, understand something. Maybe it's an answer you were looking for. There's a no here. And I also have a goal. The time is right. Mm, that's kind of... Get more information. This is a sign. No. Go. The time is right. I don't know who that message is for, but somebody... You're being advised that there's some information you need to obtain, Pisces, whatever this is about. It doesn't necessarily say, but it does mention, um, let's see, this is a sign, so we'll put that here. We also have for you, no, the answer is no. And it says go, the time is right, whatever that is. That could be business, that could be love, that could be entering a new relationship. It could be anything. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Pisces, I see that you guys could have been a little restricted in something. I'm going to go ahead and pull more cards for you guys. But Pisces, I feel like that you guys uh, have been all in your heads about something. I feel like there's a situation where you guys have been, I don't want to say entrapped. I feel like you guys might have been isolated, put away, something like that. I feel like there's this energy of I am fearful. In this case, I feel like this is you guys fearing really expressing yourselves the way you want to. It's almost like... Walking on pins and needles, eggshells, I'm not necessarily sure, tap dancing. So you know what I mean? I feel like for some of you guys, you're really trying to finagle your way around a situation. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been cooped up somewhere. And I feel like wherever you were, how, during this isolation or something like that, it's almost like, do we know how much things have changed since then? This could have been a little bit of time, could have been a long time, but I feel like things have changed since you last had to address something, entertain something. Uh, I feel like you guys are concerned with um, really expressing yourselves in a positive, I don't want to say in a positive way. I want to say, I think you guys, it's proper for whatever it, is, whatever it is you guys are trying to do. So within context, whatever situation you're in, you know, whether it be, I don't know, choirs, the bingo or something like that. I feel like you guys are in a state where you have to find some new way to properly navigate in that arena, wherever you are. Uh, I also see here, and this is the Seven of Pentacles, this reverse. There's something where you guys, there's something with an investment here. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about you being impatient about something. Some of you guys are likely to quit a job. Some of you guys are likely to walk out of a relationship. There's something here about an investment. For some of you guys, there's a situation where you could have had a bad investment or maybe you made the wrong decision about something. I feel like for some of you guys, you frequently think about giving up on something. I feel like for some of you guys, this is a career or something like that. Something having to do um, with a career. Some of you guys are wondering, am I going to have the results that I want? It's something like that. So I feel like there's some challenges here with you guys having faith that something can actually work out the way you want it to. I feel like for some of you guys, this is about your success waiting for you, but you just have to take it. You guys are right now restricted. I see that. Either you're restricted or you're feeling restricted. There's a lot going on in your heads, a lot of thought. A lot of careful movement about how to move, be proper in something. But we also see that there's where you guys are like, I don't know if I can do this. I need to give up. I also see here, this is the Knight of Cups and the Sex Princess of Cups. So the cards are saying here that you are in pursuit of some gold. So it kind of goes back to the Seven of Pentacles where you guys are questioning some dream or something that you do. I feel like, the, again, this is about you finagling within some sort of a situation, okay? I also see something about a partner here for you guys. Something about true love. 
you guys are in pursuit of some sort of a goal. So this is not just a romantic partnership. This is about a goal. This is something that you guys want, but it also talks about you guys finding some renewal of love or something having to do with love. It could be renewed love in a relationship. I don't know, guys. I feel like for some of you guys, this is you taking a step into the new direction of a relationship, right? Some of you guys are going to have proposals. I feel like a lot of this could be business opportunities that come in for you, as well as opportunities for love. All right. So we see that you guys are on some emotional journey. There's something where there's a lot of emotions. I feel like these things are with the heart for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about, but there's something about a journey. There's a, something about a journey where you're in search of love or something like that. Now the Ember card reversed here. Let's take a look at this. This card talks about a bigger force. This card talks about some sort of an individual here who enforces something. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who could be um, really up there. Like some kind of a, I don't know, I don't want to say it's like a military person, just somebody who's really serious about money or something like that with the Emperor card. I feel like this person is structured. There's a possibility to me this person could be corrupt with this energy. But the cards do say something about a masculine father in an energy. It could, it could just be the fact that this person enters in as some sort of masculine energy or something like that. This person could be a father figure. Uh, for some of you guys, this is a person who enforces rules. So if you guys have some rules or something that needs to be enforced here, I think this, this feels like somebody you could report to. Or this is somebody who is going to delegate something. There's something about controlling and delegating a situation. I feel like for some of you guys, this person could be coming in to create some sort of a structure in a situation that had gotten out of control or had no structure. All right, let's move on. I'm trying to, I don't, I, you know, I want to tell you guys what I see here, right? But I also want to see if I can keep these down a little bit. Those ones last, whatever that was, 40 minutes. I'm trying to not do 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Give me some cards, please, for Pisces. Give me cards for Pisces, please. Something about true love, movement towards true love. Some of you guys have not been in a relationship. Some of you guys are moving towards that proposal that you want. This could be growth in a relationship with the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys could have actually made some sort of decisions here. Some sort of, um, some sort of decisions about success. If you're realizing that something could take a little bit longer than you wanted to, this could be relationship or business. Pisces, ready to love again. Oh boy, why did I choose these? Okay, because they're so I can't see that. All right, well I can see them better here. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Some of you guys are headed towards new love. We are showing that here. I feel like with this time of isolation or something like that, there's a possibility that you guys heal. All the way. And you're like, I want to love again. Some of you guys need to be told you're ready to love again. Or some of you guys just needs to be your focus. When am I going to be able to love again? All right? Am I there? Give me one more, please, for Pisces. Why is this turning into a love read? Let yourself feel all your emotions. Some of you guys are probably escaping emotions. Like, oh, I'll deal with that later. And then, you know, it's two, three years later. It'll creeped up on you. Let me see if I can get this clear. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Guys, don't avoid your emotions. You're being advised to deal with them. I would do it and listen. All right, let me be very clear. I want to be very clear, and I think you guys know me by now. When I, when I get my little thing, I'll tell you what I feel. I'll tell you what I feel. I say like this, right? When I, when I point out, let yourself feel all the emotions, there's some things that you guys need to deal with. I would deal with them immediately. I won't wait, whether it be forgiveness, work on that. Whether it be you having a better view of yourself, I work on that immediately. Like now. All right, let's see. Give me more, please. What's up under no? I, let's see. Well, this came up reverse here. Deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. And you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. Now, this does, and let's look at this. Um, this does symbolize some kind of new proposal here. There could be some delays with it because we have no underneath. But we also have this card here, deep emotional healing. There still might be some healing to do. All right? I feel like what the healing is, if I look at the sequence, it says I'm ready to love again. 
let yourself feel all the emotions. So I feel like you guys have maybe got through the surface piece of it and you understand, yes, I'm ready to love again, right? But you have to heal from some of the emotions, some of the things that are left behind. And it clearly goes in that surface wise, you guys might be healed or may have accepted something. But what is deep? What is deep down there? Let's see. Okay. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you're willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. Some of you guys are still rejecting this with the no card. So if this is a situation that's been lingering on way too long, much longer than what is normal, and I'm, to be honest with you, I'm still questioning what is normal when it comes to certain things such as uh, grief, broken hearts. I mean, I don't know who's to say. But, you know, if you notice it's been five or six years and went by, perhaps we have an issue. I'm just saying. So there's something where yes, there's been emotions uh, that have been dealt with, but I feel like you guys have many more. I think these are the deeper ones. Those scars that nobody can see, got to deal with those. All right, because at the end of the day, even though this looks pretty on the surface, it still carries over into whatever this is. And I feel like you guys have something new coming in here. All right, let's see. Let me pull one more for you guys to see what else comes out. Something about you guys being shy and fearful and nervous to speak or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something about investments here, guys. It says that you guys... Something about investments. Give me one more, please. Let's see. Now, this one also came out reversed here. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. So under the emperor, we have somebody here who's keeping you in a deep check or something like that. Or staying on top of what you do. This just could be you being disciplined or something like that. Possibility. The cards are saying, go, the time is right. I feel like some of you guys are leaving certain things behind. But we also see here, easy does it. The time is right. It says, go, the time is right. But it does not say rush. It says, easy does it. So you guys are going to get back into something, fall into some kind of fall in line over some sort of structure or something like that. This is, this is either, this is like, a, um, this is somebody. Some of you guys could be leaving somebody too. Some of you guys could be trying to walk away from something. Huh, I don't know what all that's about. Let's see what other cards we have here. Uh, hold on guys, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anybody I need to look up here. All right, I want to clear something up with the with the Emperor card. It's reversed, right? Because I think there's some things you guys need to know in there. And I certainly don't mind taking a minute to tell you what I see. I have here that this Emperor reverse is a force bigger than you. It's a company that actually enforces certain things, procedures and rules. So there's something where somebody's enforcing some sort of movement here. It could literally be just like, I don't know, some person who's great with money, emperor. But this speaks to an organization or it could be a government or organization because it says rules and procedures. It could be hospitals. It could be anything like that. But the cards are saying there's something about you guys are fighting and standing up to a large group of people. There's something about a company where you're challenging a group of people. Or there's somebody here. Um, this is emperor. I believe that's Taurus energy. Nope, that's, yep, that's Aries energy on here. Is somebody here challenging a big organization? A masculine energy. Somebody who's fatherly. This person has the ability to control and delegate. So you're probably working with somebody. I don't know if this person is a lawyer, but they control something. They delegate. I feel like this person could be a lawyer. Somebody having to do with law, a lawyer, or somebody who's like, I don't know. But it says something about you you going up a big or you're going up against a big organization. You could be partnering with this person, or this could be your energy. Some of you guys, I feel lawsuits. Y'all yeah, suing somebody. This person is recognized for their ability to control and delegate. Whatever that's about. All right. Okay, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I need to see here. I'm trying to see. Um, tell me about this person here, the emperor. Um, we have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It says Aries here for the Emperor. I thought it was like Taurus too, but the Taurus is a high four aunt. Huh. 
All right, let's take a look. Who is this person, Emperor? Are they official? This person is some sort of a teacher. There's somebody that you guys are reaching out to who has some kind of ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. So you guys are probably consulting with a teacher, a mentor, somebody who's been through some sort of situation, or this could mean that people are reaching out to you. Now, this person could also be manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. I'm going to say that this teacher is well-versed. I'm going to say if this teacher needs to come across as angelic, then they will. But I also feel like if this person uh, needs to display attributes of a shark or a snake when it comes to certain things, I, I think they will. So I think that there's somebody in the picture who is... I don't, I don't want to say... It seems like there's somebody... I don't want to say in charge. There's somebody who's uh, keeping a, the long arm of the law or enforcing certain rules, whatever that's about. So I got that. Give me more for this person. A seeker. All right. So this person, also the emperor is looking for something. Thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. So this person is on the hunt for something. A teacher who's seeking and on the hunt. That could be your energy. That could be your energy. Some of you guys are looking into something new. I see you guys reading books. I see you guys trying to find out new things. But some of you guys are trying to seek a higher power. We also have here queen. Okay. So the seeker. Now this is reverse. Becomes arrogant when authority is challenged. Controlling and demanding. So whoever this person is that you guys are dealing with. Or if this is your energy. Uh, it did come out reverse here. So this person could be arrogant. Or somebody could perceive you as arrogant in this scenario. Or whatever this is. We also have radiates the regal feminine. Uses her, benevol her benevolent authority to protect others. All right. So again, with this person, this could be your energy. It goes one way or another, right? It depends on whatever the situation is. I think that whoever this is, they're burst enough to be able to flip between, you know, I'll finish you and, you know, let me help you out. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just see if there's anything else I want to pull. Just a couple of messages uh, in the shadows, whatever this is going to mean to you. I'm going to keep this down and then I'll, I'll just put out more readings if I need to. No big deal. Give me more, please, for Pisces. A reading for Pisces. I fantasize about you. These are messages from your person. One more. At the moment, I didn't care. At that moment, they cared more than they let you know. So I'm showing. Give me more. We also have... I know you're watching me. There's something about watching. There's an admission or somebody admitting, oh, you know, I know, you, I know you're watching me. We also have here, I wish you would come back. All right, so these are messages uh, from your person. Some of you guys are looking at your person on social media, something like that. Or perhaps you're looking at their pictures or something like that. Well, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, wow, well, Ronnie, give me one love card because I don't want to spend a bunch of time on love. Well, I think love came out enough. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I fantasize about you. Okay. Give me more. Oh, okay. oh. That wasn't bad. Hold on, we're going to take them. We got one that fell up. It says chemistry. So I feel like you guys have some kind of chemistry with somebody. It's showing that. Something about chemistry. We also have let your friends help you. Some of you guys are <laughs> uh, connecting with friends over this and forgiving and learning. Okay, we're going to keep this down. That's all I have for you guys. I'll come back with another reason. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zim Romance Tarot. Yeah. Can you see that? Whatever. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Ah, 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 ah. Please.